Hey there, Chad Boninger here, and on the fourth floor you will also find the current periodicals section. There is where you'll find some print journals, the academic scholarly research journals, okay? And you will also find a bunch of magazines that we have in print too. So not necessarily all the magazines and journals we have in the library, but the ones we have in print that are the newer issues will be here on the fourth floor in current periodicals. Around the corner from current periodicals, we actually have the leisure reading collection and the OP collection. So this is the Leisure Reading and the Opie Collection. Here you'll find books such as Twilight. So if you're looking for like a nice fun read in, to read in between classes to kind of clear your head a little bit, this is a great place to find books like Twilight, which is one of my personal favorites, of course. You'll also find the Opie books. These books are geared towards students whose primary language is not English. So if English is your second language, these are good books that are geared towards you and are written in such a way to help you better uh, understand English. Right around the corner from the Opie and Leisure Reading Collection is the Children's Collection. And here you'll find a really nice collection of children's books and picture books. If you're looking for books of that nature, those will be right around the corner here on the fourth floor as well. So this is the newspaper collection here, and this is what we have in print newspapers, although we do have a lot of newspapers online, of course. But here you'll find things like the Columbus Dispatch, Washington Post, New York Times, Chicago Tribune, the LA Times, things like that. But you'll also find a number of international newspapers. These are good for people who are here from another country, want to read their native newspaper in their native language, but they're also good for folks who are studying another language or a second language here at Ohio University. So if you're looking for a, if you want to better understand Chinese or Japanese or Korean or Arabic, you might want to read one of the international newspapers to help you become more familiar with that language. 